Virtual birthday parties? Yeah. Seems normal enough in this day and age. Staying safe, social distancing, saving lives. Capturing a wild badger and putting a little costume on him. Trying to make him to dance and a strange robotic noise coming from it. My phone. It was a WhatsApp message. Hey, come along to Siobhan's B-Day party. <laughs> Good old Siobhan. I hate the bitch. Party spirit with a big exclamation mark. Hardly necessary in this day and age. <laughs> now, initially I was confused. I mean, had shooting water up your anus become a celebratory event? Who was I to judge? <laughs> But my wife soon corrected me. B day equals birthday. I apologize for the mix up. Um, I mean, ass cleaning parties? It was hardly 2019. So the day finally arrived. Since Siobhan was a co worker, I dress on the formal side of casual. Naked in a box sack, covered in my own. Clickety click on the little Zoom link. All the faces appeared, but I shut them out, just like the men in the white coats told me to. Hello everyone, congratulations Siobhan, have a happy birthday, I said with a mixture of sincerity and irony. I find a 3 to 2 ratio is ideal. Things proceeded normally enough, people drank, in moderation. One does not want to become a topic on tomorrow's water cooler zoom topic call, so I was on my best behaviour. I hadn't actually heard that song before. It's a really uplifting beat. Everyone join in, cheered Siobhan in her funny little half nerdy, half bitchy voice. So I began to dance non aggressively, just like Garda Inspector O'Brien told me to after the incident in Carlo. I mean, it's just a caution and, you know, voluntary community service, <clears throat> you know. But then Siobhan pointed at me. Hey, come on, you. Don't be so stiff. <laughs> mm. But, you know, she was right. I, 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 I think I was overthinking things. I was too much in my head. I wasn't being part of the party spirit. So I began to move around and around quicker and quicker. Garda Inspector O'Brien be damned. But I wanted to do more, you know? I wanted to show people, hey, I'm part of the party spirit. But my clothes were sort of holding me back, you know? And this black sack was so unrestrictive. And that's when I took out the badger from the cage. It is adorable little outfit. Showed him. Showed him what they have trained you to do. But he just sat there. Looking at me. Don't ruin this for me, Fergal. But he stood his ground just like he always does. So I grabbed him. You may rule the hedgerow, but I am your master here. You will obey me, operation, transformation style. Carl says jump. You say, how high, Carl? How high, Carl? And suddenly, the music had stopped. Everyone was looking at me in my black sack. So I released my grip on Fergal. I knew I'd crossed the line. Siobhan spoke with a single tear in her eye. Lowered my head, I like, what the hell had I done? What have you done? You're making this all about you. That's not very in tune with the party spirit. My life was over. So I put Fergal back in his cage and took off the black sack and put back on my normal clothes. I just um, apologized to everyone. And with as much dignity that I could muster, I rejoined the party and got shit faced up until my broadband went arseways. And then Siobhan conveniently forgot to notice my request to rejoin. But much to my delight, I was barely a subtopic on the next morning Zoom call, if even. No, that will all be left to the upcoming court case, uh, as advised by the guys in the legal department. 
Cool group of guys, yeah. Great dancers.